SpaceX closes in on their second super heavy attempt at orbit, a crew hatch appears on Starship, Starlink arrives in Maui, and we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. After Booster 9's aborted static fire and relocation to High Bay 2 last week, the top of this next orbital class first stage received the new hot staging ring on Wednesday night this week. The booster is expected to attempt another 33 engine static fire next week before a full stack mating with its upper half takes place. That half, Starship 25, is receiving or has received its engine shields next door. A notice to local mariners has been posted online, indicating SpaceX is preparing to clear traffic out for their second orbital launch attempt no earlier than August 31st. However, be sure to keep your expectations in check. While the company did submit its mishap report on Tuesday concerning Starship Super Heavy's in-flight explosion, before this second integrated Starship vehicle can attempt a launch to orbit, SpaceX needs to make the modifications to its launch license that the FAA will recommend after reviewing the mishap report. Only then could the company receive clearance for liftoff. And of course, there may also be lawsuits to contend with that the hippies filed against the FAA. Yesterday, SpaceX shared a video of a recent long-duration test fire of Raptor while gimbaled 15 degrees at McGregor, Texas. Another piece of interesting Starship news to report, besides SpaceX's continued renovation of their Starship factory, is that S-22 made an appearance this week, hosting a new prototype crewed hatch for HLS. Starship Gazer captured it on his YouTube channel, and Lab Padre's people took note of a couple labels attached to the ship. Concerning Dragon news, Crew 7's capsule, Endurance, arrived at Pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center ahead of its third mission to the space station on August 25th. Meanwhile, teams prepped to bring Crew 6 home, and Crew 8 astronauts completed their first week of training at SpaceX HQ in Hawthorne, California. Moving right along to Starlink, SpaceX has shipped more than 650 kits to more than 40 organizations in Maui to aid with the island's recent fires, the deadliest in modern U.S. history. Do feel free to support the relief efforts made by Samaritan's Purse using the link provided below. And on Wednesday night, Falcon 9 launched 22 more Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit from Slick 40, Florida. Done upon a booster for its 13th mission, she landed once again on the drone ship a shortfall of Gravitas. Stage one landing was deployed. Stage one landing confirmed. But now it's time for today's honorable mention. On August 10th, Roscosmos, that'd be the Russian space agency, launched Luna 25, its first moon mission since 1976. The lander slash probe is reported to be functioning nominally and snapped its first photos on Sunday. On Wednesday, the craft entered lunar orbit and if all goes well, she'll touch down near the moon's south pole in a few days. And if that's done successfully, it will be the first probe to land there. Only then will it use its eight onboard science instruments to search for water ice among a number of other objectives. Well, that's all for this week. Thanks for stopping by. My deepest gratitude goes out to all of you supporting the channel. And have an phenomenal weekend. Until next Friday, Godspeed.